Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Christmas wreath. I take four fingers from the top in the middle and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a little slightly curved line to the left, little slightly curved line to the right, come back to the left and we're going to draw almost like a rounded rectangle. On each corner I go straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Coming back to the right I'm going to draw a wavy wavy line, connect on the right, and a wavy wavy line connect on the left. I come right here towards the center at the bottom and I draw a straight diagonal out, curve line, straight line in, come over here on the right, straight diagonal out, curve line, straight line in, connect. I take one finger right in the middle above and I put a dot. Now this is important because this is how we're going to draw all of our rings. We're going to draw a wavy, 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 wavy line. And then we come back up to the dot and we draw another wavy, wavy line on the right. This is so we keep our wavy lines as a circle. Then I come back to where I put a dot and I put another dot above. And I draw another wavy, wavy, wavy line down on the left to about the middle. Come back to the dot and draw a wavy line all the way down and over on the right. Come up again, put a dot, wavy line again all the way down on the left. You want to keep that circle round. Come up on the dot, draw me a wavy line out connect on the right. Let's do one more skinny mini one wavy line out on the left. Try and keep it round. Come back up to the dot. Wavy line out. Try and keep it round. Connect. Now the last one we're going to do, put a dot and we're going to finish this off with curved lines. Keep going around the back, um, the edge, stop halfway, come back to the dot, curve line, I'm going to try and keep it round looking, keep going, connect. Now I'm going to put one, two, three little dot, uh, baby circles, one, two, three, wherever you want, one, two, three, down here, let's put one, one, two, three, baby circles. Let's put one up here, one, two, three. And I always like to do um, an odd number. So that's one, two, three, four, five. That's odd. But I think I'm going to do one more up here, one, two, three. That would be six. And one right here, that would be seven. One, two, three. Okay, that's it on the drawing. Let's see how we're going to color. Oh, I forgot one more, one more little dot on the inside wavy line. Jump over, jump over, jump over, jump over, jump over. All right, now we're ready to color. Okay, this is pretty easy because it's only three colors. I'm going to color the background of my bow yellow. Just this little interior circle yellow. Then I'm going to use red and color in my bow. Now you can do any color combinations you want. This is the traditional look. And then I'm going to do all my little holly berries. These are all red too. So color these all in red. Now what I did is I did a couple of variations to see how I was going to color this. I asked some friends and they all decided that they wanted an ABAB pattern. So starting on this section, this is going to be A, so this will be dark green. Skip one, this will be A again. 
all the way around. Jump over your holly berries. And the very big one on the outside, this should be A. So you've got A, B, A, B, A, and then yellow. All the way around. Now you could do this with different color greens. You could do it blue and white. Make it a Hanukkah wreath. You can do this any colors you want. But this is, I did the traditional look. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my wreath all colored in, ready to go on somebody's front door. And this is a good one for primary. Okay, bye-bye.